You are watching the Dog Talk Show. In our future story today, my name is Alkoma Solomon. I come from the east, that is Ginger. It was, I think, in 2015 that I got TB. I went to Ginger and I started up the treatment part of it and I managed to run for the treatment and completed. That was after six months, first phase part of it. But after one year of getting that treatment, when I had bounced actually from Ginger now, putting up in Kampala, I got the same problems and the same symptoms that I got in prayer to the first TB that I had got. I started coughing, I started losing weight, I had no appetite completely, and real life became so hard for me, in that I could not understand myself really. Like any other person who had got earlier, same problem, I thought I'd got back to B, and I started feeling that I needed someone else to give me more, more technical assistance due to what I had. My family tried all possible ways, plus me, myself. I took strong antibiotics like uh, Ampiclox, Septrin, Inclusive, Ampiclox, Cipro, but in the end, I could not get any improvement. Time came when it was really warning out. I decided just to rush to Mulago for better options. I packed my things and rushed to Mulago. Reaching there, doctors hurried, took me to the lab, and after one day, they diagnosed that I had TB. I started on the treatment part of it. But life there was not so easy. The following morning, counselor came to the ward where I was admitted and told me the real impact and the effects of what I was going to go through. He first told me treatment was to take two years. First and foremost, the duration was really so long. But the worst thing I felt up to now, and the worst thing is the worst experience when after being admitted, when I denied the chance of looking at my family. Sincerely, when my family and my kids came to look at me and I could not get permission to look at them just because of the sickness of TB that I was running or going through, that was the worst thing on earth. I had to take 180 injections. Daily I could take one injection and accompanied by six tablets later in the day. But with the 180 injections, that was the type of life that I'd never severed through. But indeed, I thank God that with the guidelines and the counseling part of it, I maneuvered to take over 180 injections and I finished off the 80 injections and I stood onto my words that God assisted me and I completed up this treatment. Immediately after the first week, everything completely had started changing. I started gaining back the appetite I had lost because in the first instance I could not eat. Secondly, I started even getting back my weight because by the time I, I went to Mulago, I was almost 40. But by the time, at the end of the first two weeks, I had already reached 50 plus. So I think the treatment had really done some good work. And I say, once you start on TB treatment, you recover immediately. Because TB is very deadly. But once you start up those tablets, you recover. After the course of the 180 injections, that was a great period of around some four to six months, we were allowed to access our people.
and they could come in the world talk to you for almost 5 to 10 minutes and they could go away what i can say about tb is one that tb really is so much consuming than any other disease tb is a disease that eats you up in the most shortest period in that you leave people talking a lot a lot about you and a lot especially in public and if you are not a man who is so much persistent in people's words you may not finish up tb treatment reason people think you are being witched people think you are that because of the wrongs you had maybe with a neighbor so due to loss of weight that tb brings other people even don't believe that they have tb reason they think of such things misunderstanding that maybe has led them to that but after they have come and they have been admitted later and they have gained back their their momentum and the, their body weight they come to know that sincerely it wasn't maybe those land wrongs that maybe they are bewitched but they come to know that sincerely it was tb that was eating them up a word of caution goes to people who are being diagnosed and they have been found out that they have got, they have got tb my caution to such people is one there is need to complete up tb treatment once you are being found out that you have tb please and please go for treatment and ensure that you complete up that tb treatment because once you don't do that then you are reigning or oh, that will be the end of your life tb is curable that is one thing i can assure the public tb is curable tb is curable but there is need to complete up tb treatment my caution to caregivers is they should take care of people who are having tb like a people who are having any other ordinary disease in case maybe you have met someone who is tb don't overlook at him don't over question him take him like any other person who has got a disease that is curable this people come over in taxis don't over close windows maybe you have a patient who is at home don't over close the doors leave free air to blow inside your house don't over close or congest yourself in a very small rooms because once one is having tb and is being congested in such rooms many will get the tb so my question is please don't over be in rooms which are much congested with people who are not being diagnosed they should go for tb treatment and ensure that they complete up that tb treatment because once you get tb you think of maybe dying hanging of yourself you see yourself changing no appetite losing appetite losing weight and the public comes in to look at you like someone who is so much useless now that maybe you are going to die but one thing i can assure pa patients is one that tb is curable and one can get to know that tb is curable after completing treatment another thing i can say to the government is one may i thank the government for what they have done so far to cap down the epidemic of tb because government has tried to cap down tb but there is no no way people can appreciate this but me who has passed through this i can say i thank the government i for one that the government has really put in a lot of effort to cap down tb because me when i went to mlago now i can walk i can teach I can get to my place of work. I've got back my weight. Now I'm like any other perfect person, which was not happening in the beginning. My emphasis to the government is one: they should put up more training centers. They should train up more people who are informed more of TB. They should bring up or come up with seminars to various places in Uganda. Put up banners to educate people print flyers to people and they can teach them way out how one can get tb and how one can access treatment of tb well, i thank the administration and the initially the government for putting up their strong drugs that if they were not drugs 
we would be dead. But we got drugs and we are still breathing. You are watching the Dog Talk Show.